hello guys welcome back to this channel so hope everyone is fine on that note let's start this video so this is week 3 assignment of foundation of cloud iot edge ml course friends i have already made a video on week 2 assignment so coming to this week uh, week 3 assignment so let's see the solution before that guys please watch the video till the end without skipping if you skip the video you may not uh, able to note if I make any changes in between so do watch full video if you have any doubts please ask me in the comment section I hope every solution is correct and if you want to change me any solution you can do that in the comment section itself so let's see the first question now <coughs> list out the limitations of traditional IOT platform so for first question let's see the solutions so poor internet connectivity is one of the reason poor data gravity and poor real time responses all these three are the reason, limitations for traditional iot platform so for this the answer is option 4 all of the above <coughs> let's see the second question so second question Dash is the edge computing approach that significantly saves the bandwidth and cloud storage. So for second question, the answer is first option, filtered data transfer. So the answer is filtered data transfer. So mark first option as the correct answer for second question. <coughs> And moving on to the third question. In the dash phase, a developer feeds their model a curated data set so that it can it can learn everything it needs to about the type of data it will analyze. So then in the dash phase, the model can make predictions based on live data to produce actionable results so in the first blank the answer is training training we have two options with first blank training and for second blank the answer is inferencing so the only option for that is first option Training is the first blank answer and interfacing is in inferencing is the second blank answer. <coughs> so the final option is first option. So let's move on to the fourth question now. So dash involves calculating explicit label for every data, every data point in the sample based on the actual observations on the data so for fourth question the answer is option a again that means data preparation data preparation involves calculating explicit label for every data point in sample in the sample based on actual observations on the data next question Fifth question, list out the key characteristics of Azure IoT Hub. So what are the characteristics, key characteristics of Azure IoT Hub? So for fifth question, so manage it, managing service for bidirectional communication is one of the characteristic and it is a platform as a service and also it has programmable SDK. So all of the above is the correct option for fifth question. Guys, please uh, join your classmates also in this membership. I hope everyone, maximum of you are doing this as a semester subject. So recommend this to your classmates and try to join this. So in future, I will try to do the preparation videos also. That means uh, nearly 
300 to 400 MCQs completely based on NPTEL syllabus. So I may do that. So in order to access that, uh, try to join them in the membership so that it will be useful for them in passing out the exam. Next question. <coughs> Which of the following studies various techniques to classify patterns? So for sixth question, the answer is in the question itself mentioned classifying pattern that means pattern recognition. So mark fourth option as correct answer for sixth question. Moving on to the seventh one. The input and output of image processing are so the input and output of image processing are option 3 image only so mark option 3 as correct answer for 7th question next moving on to the 8th question in fast RCNN we extract feature maps from the input image only once as compared to RCNN where we extract feature maps from each region proposal separately. Is this statement true or false? So it is absolutely true. So mark first option true as correct answer for 8th question. And next moving on to the ninth one the ninth question <coughs> which of the following networks has the fastest prediction time whether it is RCNN fast RCNN or faster RCNN so which of the networks has the fastest prediction time so the answer for ninth question is third option faster RCNN so mark third option as correct one. Next moving on to the final question of the assignment that is 10th question. Moving on to the 10th one. List out the features provided by Azure Custom Vision Service. So for 10th question all these three are correct. So that means the answer is fourth option all of the above is the correct answer for 10th question so friends these are the solutions for week 3 assignment of foundation of cloud iot edge ml course so hope this video helpful for you if you feel the same please like this video guys and share this information to your friends also and encourage them to join in this membership so that it will have a good a good amount of preparation videos in future so I am planning to do, if all goes well like this, I am planning to do exam preparation MCQs. No one will give you that in uh, outside. So I am preparing to do the videos for you. So in order to access that, you have to be in membership. So make them, make the other classmates of you to join in this course. So until the next video, goodbye, thank you.